putting down a deposit for a rental house, but instead a local woman says she was swindled out of hundreds of dollars. It all started when she responded to a post on Facebook Marketplace advertising a rental. News 3's Anthony Sabella spoke with the woman. Now, Anthony, how did she end up losing the money? Well, Bevan Kurt, Heather Valdez tells me that the Norfolk home she was looking at was within walking distance of the beach and a steal at just $600 a month. Turns out she says the woman she sent the deposit money to didn't actually own the house. Heather Valdez wants to move. The house she lives in, too small. The neighborhood, she says, not safe. My girls got robbed at gunpoint back in November. So she took to Facebook Marketplace. After all, she found her current home on social media, so why not do it again? Last week, she found this. It looked like a good deal. I messaged the person and asked them, was it still available? Um, they told me that it was. The house was just off Ocean View Avenue in Norfolk, feet from the beach and $600 a month. The owner, Kimberly, Valdez says, lived in Blacksburg and had the key. But Valdez checked out the home's exterior in person, had pictures of the inside, and decided to go for it. Her options, deliver the deposit to Blacksburg driving hours or pay online. I went to follow the PayPal link and it wasn't working. I thought it was something on my side. So the person said for other tenants that they use a money pack card that's refillable. Valdez says she sent $500 and was told to meet at the home for the keys and a lease signing. I went there and found out the, the real owner didn't know anything about the house being for rent. It's not for rent, it's for sale and didn't even know what I was talking about. Valdez says police told her she was swindled. Couldn't believe that I fell for it. Local real estate broker Tim Gifford says these cases aren't new. He says people looking to rent should see the inside of the home first and be prepared to answer some questions. Credit checks, if you've got to fill out an application, there's a process you have to go through. Velda says she sees the red flags now. Attempts to reach Kimberly no longer go through. Her message? Just pay attention to who you're talking to. Make sure you meet that person face to face. And Gifford also says, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, I tried contacting this Kimberly through phone, email, Facebook, all the means Valdez says she was provided. But as of, not, as of right now, we haven't gotten any response from her. Now, I did talk to the true owner of the home in question. She says she feels terrible about this and believes some, or can't believe someone swiped pictures from her, of, of her home from realty websites and used them. Anthony Sabella, News 3.